Now at this time of the year, you're pretty safe just to cut it, put it straight into buckets of cool water and let it condition before arranging. But if you're watching this earlier on in the season on catch up, you don't want to pick them when they're too young because what happens is the, stem, the stems here are still very, very sappy and bendy and then they could wilt in the vase. So you need to be a little bit patient and make sure that they feel just that bit firmer under your fingers and they don't wobble too much. I've got a video I took earlier in the season. I'll play it for you now. Here we have the malope. Now I've been getting a few requests for harvesting the malope and it's a little early to harvest them at the moment. It's late for malope in general but everything's late this year but at the moment the stems are still a little bit wobbly so we need to wait for them to firm up a little bit otherwise the risk is they could wilt in the vase. But there's plenty of sweet peas to be picking so I'm going to do that next. Surprisingly this one which is in a container it was an emergency plot is actually a bit firmer can you see that? So this one is flowering in its pot and this one I could pick and it would stand up but not the ones in the flower field at the moment. Obviously they've spent more of their energy branching rather than shooting straight up into bloom. I could not resist picking some of the rose as well. Aren't they absolutely beautiful? So to condition it's really simple just strip off the worst of the lower foliage and then plunge them straight into deep buckets of cool, clean water. We clean the foliage off because that stops debris from getting into the water and blocking the flower stems, which will stop them being hydrated and then they could wilt on you. So you want nice, clean stems, nice, clean water. And then the best thing to do, if you can, is to put them in a cool garage with the door wide open because if you've got any pollinators still on your flowers, they won't like being indoors and they will make their way back towards the light and back out into the garden. If you don't have a garage that you could use, then the kitchen or the bathroom will be fine. If you can, leave a window open because that will do the same job and attract the pollinators back out into the garden. But otherwise, we will just leave them to rest like these ones here overnight and you can see the stems are really solid. The flowers are not wilting and they are ready to arrange. That is not the idea. The idea is I take a picture. You're not supposed to pollinate them while I'm working. <laughs> it's literally a buffet. This is a super simple plant to arrange with. The flowers just speak for themselves and they come already with their own foliage. So all I'm doing is just stripping the stems so that no leaves are below the water line so they won't rot in the vase. And I'm just making a general jumble in the vase. Measure, snip, and then just simply place. There you go. Just make sure they do actually end up in the vase and not on the outside that's easy to do there we go oh that's a nice stem isn't it that could literally go in a bud vase all by itself don't be put off by stems that are not straight this is ideal this is one of the best things about growing your own flowers because it makes the vases look super natural and not straight up and down.
there we go now the best thing to do is not to fiddle with it if you're not happy with anything wait for a couple of hours because the flowers do have a habit of moving and unfurling and making their own space so here is my arrangement I just let it rest for a few hours and you can see what I mean now about the stems just turning and moving in to the open spaces and you can leave it just as it is or if you want to you can add some flowers from the garden if you do fancy adding a few more things to your arrangement I have some suggestions so I've got a couple of options for you this is Dahlia Karma chocolate at the bottom and Sam Hopkins at the top. I think they will look absolutely fantastic amongst these gorgeous trumpet flowers. Or how about this? This is my special garden blend. So this is a bespoke blend that is mixed especially for us, for you. These are my three most used scabious varieties. Usually you can only buy them separately. However, I've had them blended especially, so you only need to buy one packet. So you get this gorgeous dark scabious, which will look fantastic dancing amongst the malope. But you also get included this ivory, which is just so useful. I've got that earmarked for something else though. So I'm gonna make another arrangement with that later. And then this lovely red. So the red and the dark I think would look magnificent in this arrangement or or perhaps some snapdragons these are the red here's the packet but they're also available as part of the mix so if you want a nice selection either of those two would look lovely in the arrangement and again it's a different flower shape we also have plenty of wild carrot still flowering in the garden. So a couple of umbels scattered amongst this arrangement would look fantastic. Let me show you. This variety of wild carrot has got some paler, more delicate flowers in the mix as well as the dark. And I think that's ideal for this arrangement because you don't want to overpower the flowers. This is the one you want. So I'm just going to slide this stem in. You can see how slender it is and how easy it is to arrange. I've cut it a little bit shorter because I want to push it behind the flowers. I don't want it sitting out in the front, obstructing the view. Look at that. That's gorgeous. I'm going to add some more. There we go. We don't want to add too many and overpower it, but I think that looks amazing let's go mad and add some of the other flowers that we were looking at earlier and put them all together I'll pop the snapdragons in and just remember they're geotropic so they are going to change position once the vase settles these are going to point upwards and fill that nice space in so behind it I've just put in a nice little cluster of scabious small flowers sometimes look much nicer when they're clustered together rather than just randomly dotted about There we go. So that's just four packets of seeds, a beautiful garden display, and then an epic flower arrangement to boot.